Wednesday the 12th of October. I got back from work today and put on University Challenge. I've fallen into this routine of watching it and I'm not quite sure why. I'll be 30 years old in 28 hours, 33 minutes, but feel like I'm going on 50. I'm pretty sure I might be described as being in a rut by all those middle-aged business jerks. Friday. I can't believe it's almost here finally. It seems so far away once. Maybe the lads in the departments will have got together and got me something nice. But probably not. Maybe some bleach or a new mop. That would be nice. I guess. Excuse me, would you mind picking that up? Excuse me? I said, do you mind picking that up? Please. You just tossed that on the floor. I'm sure you wouldn't go around your own home doing that kind of thing. Well, firstly, it's none of your business what I do in my own home. And secondly, why don't you pick it up? It's what you get paid to do. So why don't you do it and actually earn your keep? Yeah, yes. The vendors swore up my money. They thought I'd have learned my lesson by now, but this thing always seems to play up. Just thought today might be different for once. But no luck? No, no luck today. Mm. Sorry, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Oh, I'm new. Just started recently. I'm running the German and creative writing lectures. What do you do then? All right. It's a job. It pays the rent. So, uh, any plans for this weekend? Well, me and my flatmates are going out for some drinks tomorrow, I think. And on Sunday, I'm driving up to Leeds to visit my gran. Would you like to come? What, to your grandma's? <laughs> no, I mean tonight to the pub, <laughs> if you're free. Right, oh yeah, um, I'd love to, honestly. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm going out tonight with a few friends. It's, it's my 30th birthday. You don't seem too thrilled about it. Don't get me wrong, I, I, you know, I don't have a problem with getting older, it's just, it's a milestone age. Most people can hit it and look back at their lives and see everything that they've achieved. When I look back, I don't see anything to be particularly proud of. I'm sure it's not as bad as you make it seem. Well, I know. It, it, it's kind of self-pitying. It's, it's going to sound a bit morbid, but... You know when people are deciding what they want written on the gravestones that sums them up? What am I going to have? Jack Alderhouse. Pretty handy with a mop. Well, this isn't what you want to do with your life. You're making that very clear. So, what did you want to do? I always wanted to go to university, get a degree, make something of myself. But things happen. Life throws you a few curveballs, and that's it. Well, if that's still what you want, then what's stopping you going for it now? If it's still a dream you have, then you should go for it and do it. Before it really is too late and you're sat here 20 years from now talking this to some other lecturer. <laughs>
<clears throat> well, the main reason I'm looking to join the course is because I feel it's something I could really benefit from. I've always been passionate about reading. I love to write my own short stories. It's a real passion of mine. I do consider myself a creative person. I've just, I've just never had the the opportunity to um to to show and develop it. Why have I left it? until now, before applying? Well, I, I don't think there's any one answer I can give for that. I think there's been a number of factors which have swayed my decision, but I think the main reason is that I've never really had the confidence in myself to, to really go for it. That is until now. Not that I haven't enjoyed aspects of my job over the last 10 years, it's just that, it's just that I don't believe in, in being financially fulfilled anymore. Not that I ever was, of course. <sighs> I think it's something I could really benefit from. I do consider myself a creative person. Jack all the house, cleaner. Jack all the house. Nice to meet you. <laughs>